Odold and Nasir. Father, hear my prayer. Every nine years, we travel to the temple at Uppsala to give thanks to the gods and to offer them sacrifices for all they do for it. Viking gods were very different from the Christian gods. They were not all powerful, all knowing, and they were certainly not all good or only full of, full of virtues. In the presence of the gods and in their honor, I offer the sacrifice. Their gods had real power, and you could no more ignore that power than modern people feel that they can ignore gravity. Vikings considered their gods to be like people, that they had their faults, they were going to die, and also they could form personal relationships with their worshippers. The Vikings believed that if you made sacrifices, the god in return would do things for you. And did you ask the gods for anything? Yes. And they granted my every desire. The father of them, their leader, the most powerful, was Odin. They didn't see any distinction between the power of the gods and their own human world, that it was all part of one big universe. Gods were everywhere, and human society was simply one reflection of the power that they had. I want you to teach him the ways of our gods. Teach Ivar the true power. Teach him to hate the Christian god as you hate the Christian god. The Vikings were exposed to Christianity in many ways, so certainly they went and attacked Christian places. Some of them were traders, interacted in a business way. Any of those Scandinavians traveling outside of Scandinavia could easily see the wealth and power that went along with Christianity. I desire that either you or one of your companions agrees to be baptized into our faith. That way, I can make peace with a friend and fellow Christian. They would only convert if there was a good reason for them to do so, if they could, could gain power, if they were kings, for example, and a Christian king would say, I will be your ally if you will convert to Christianity. Amen.